Yes, hello. Um, I want to pick up on this question about reinfection, uh, dropping the three months down to two months. Can you explain that in English? What have you been seeing people getting Omicron and then BA2? What is it? Are people who had Delta getting BA2? Like, how is it working? Thank you. Uh, the issue of reinfection is actually is quite new, and it appeared mainly with uh, Omicron in December, because before that, most uh, reinfection were rarely seen. But with Omicron being so different than the previous strains, we saw uh, reinfections. With BA2, we see that reinfection can actually occur on a BA1. So you get BA1, then you can get BA2. And within BA2, we have different substrains as well, including B BA2.12.1, which is slightly different again. So the, the, the issue of reinfection uh, is seen after two months, we start to see some reinfection, even though most people will not be re reinfected. The current numbers, we estimate at about 5 to 10 percent of the current infections are actually reinfection, not within two months, just reinfection as a whole since the, uh, the beginning of the pandemic. But we, since we see some people having reinfection between two months and three months, this is the reason why we lowered the, uh, the threshold to be tested. That being said, uh, anyone who has symptoms should first get tested for uh, COVID, that's, that's a given, but also stay isolated, uh, wear masks, and hopefully don't meet with people that are at risk. So. Uh, that the main difference between uh, the, the, the updated guideline is actually, we, as you said, we lowered the threshold for testing from three months to two months because we see some people getting reinfected in that time span.